Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Zoe here. Today we're going to be doing this really nice springy type of look. I like it. I think it's perfect for the springtime since it is right around the corner. Like this months have been gone by fast. Like it feels like barely yesterday was New Year's and now it's March. It's crazy. It's insane. But that's a good thing though because I love spring. Spring is the best. And then right after spring is summer which is my favorite time. I don't like the heat though. That's the only thing, you know. It gets, it gets too hot over here but other than that I like this. I like the summer. I like the colors. I like everything. But I think my favorite will be spring because I can play around with all these beautiful colors like the ones I got on my lip is can you guys see it? There's a little close up to it. It's really nice. And then the eyes. But yeah guys, this is the made this is the look that I made for you guys. If you want to learn how to achieve this look, please keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe. Okay guys, so I already have my foundation on and I put on my face with my Vaseline Intensive Care. And the foundation that I'm using is my Milani, my Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1 foundation. And also, I already have my eyebrows done. So, the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to use another Milani product. And this is the Even Touch Powder Foundation in Fresco. And I'm just going to use this to set all my foundation. Okay, now my eyes are, I primed them already with my Vaseline again. I just love that stuff. I feel like it's wonderful. So, I'm going to be using this new Milani um, palette in Plum Basics. Let me take you the colors. I mean, well, yeah, you can say those are the names of them. This one is Base. Contour, Lid, Crease, Specialty, and Liner. But, um, let's just go with that. And you know, actually, this little brush that it came with is actually really, really, really good. I mean, I like it. It doesn't really feel like too harsh on my lid or anything it just I don't know it feels right to me but anyways we're gonna go with this base and it's kind of like a really nice creamy color and we're just gonna apply that to our lid now with another brush we're gonna get on um, the contour color right here and we're gonna apply that to our crease I'm putting it on my on my crease and just bringing it up a little bit with the same brush that we applied our base. I'm gonna go with specialty. Specialty is that one. We're just gonna apply it on top of that base. Now with this other brush, I'm gonna go in with. I'm gonna go in with this crease. It's kind of like a dark purpley color. And I'm just going to be dabbing it like on the outer. So 
on the outer part of my eye. I'm just creating kind of like a wing. And I'm, I'm not going to leave it like that. I'm going to go back in and blend it up. So. It's okay if we're looking kind of scary right now. Now with the brush that we apply our crease, our crease, our base, we're going to go ahead and just blend that in. I'm just going to clean that up a little bit, that little brush, and I'm going to go back in with that. With that specialty again, and just dabbing it one more time over the lid. I'm going like towards the wing that we just created. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with this base color, and I'm gonna apply that on my brow bone okay I'm gonna, for now I'm gonna leave my eyes alone just for a minute what is it I lost it. okay now to contour I'm gonna be using my wet and wow dual and contour stick and I'm just gonna create a line in my little sharp to blend that in. I'm working on my fingers, on my nose, just to fix that up a little. Now with the other end, I'm gonna do um, how I this other side. I'm gonna blend that in. Okay, and now I'm gonna set my my highlight with my fresco and my fresco uh, even touch powder foundation just so it won't crease up on me. Now 
now we're going to go in with this little guy right here. It's the Master Contour by Maybelline. And um, the brush that it comes with, I mean, it's it's okay. I like it like to go like on my nose area. It's really nice because it's really small and really cool. Like it stands, you know, really nice. Even to blend in my concealer, it'll be nice. Yeah, I like it. It's okay, I guess. Now, I'm going to be using this contour, obviously, and I'm just going to go over what I already did, and again, I'm going to be doing that like in circular motions. Oh, that is nice. Just bringing it up a little. Now, for my blush, I'm going to in this brush or anything. I mean, the blush is really nice. It's a really nice um, color. Does it have the colors? It doesn't even say what color it is, but it's really nice. The blush is really natural. It looks really natural. I don't know. I like it. For, really, for like a really nice natural look, I'll just go with this highlight. Oh my god! Now let me tell you, the highlight it's. I don't know if you guys can see it, but oh, that is beautiful. Oh my god. I absolutely love the highlight. Now we're going to go back in with the palette and I'm going to, I think I'm going to go in with this liner color and I'm going to put that underneath my eyes. And I'm just going halfway. And just like that. Back to this highlight. Oh my god, I am in love with this highlight. Um, let me see. I'm gonna use this little brush that came with my um, Milani palette. And I'm just gonna put that on the inner corner of my eye just to brighten it up a little. Now, for my lips, I'm 
gonna be mixing this two together. This is I actually got this on my Ipsy bag one time. I can't remember on which one though. But anyways, it's the Pure Last Extreme Matte Tint. Oh, let me see this. Before that, before I started the video, I just went ahead and applied my satin lips from um, Mary Kay. Just so it won't be like too, you know, too nasty looking. So yeah, let me see. This is the applicator. That's how it looks. And since this thing is really matte, like for real, it's extremely matte. I just like take some powder off of it. This thing is extremely matte, like this dry. I like it, I love the color, but it's just too matte for me. It's too dry, and I really don't like that. So I'm gonna go over my next butter gloss in Angel Cake Food. Yeah, that thing is beautiful. I like mixing both of them because it just looks really pretty. And it feels like so nice on my lips. And the color is beautiful. Look at it. Really pretty. You can't never go wrong with this thing. But yeah, guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe so you can get notified whenever I do a next video, which I'm gonna do one soon. But yeah, this is it. I hope you guys like it, and thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.